Hey, it's Deanna, and I wanted to show you this really cool antique sword I got a couple of months ago on eBay. And this is a fraternal sword. It's a Patriarch's Militant Independent Order of Odd Fellows sword with the matching sheath. And I believe it to be from about 1900 to 1920. Now, the cool part of it is it has the person's name going along the blade, and it's Samuel Wilson. I don't know if you can see that. But look at the workmanship, all that acid etching along the blade. And it's a very, very shiny, shiny uh, sword. It's in really good shape. Now, I see a lot of these swords on the internet, and they're various, like, they have various states of, like, um, verdigree and rust or, you know, discoloration. This one is, like, really shiny, like it was just made yesterday. Now, what's really cool is I think this is called the pommel. It has leather. And on the top, it looks like some kind of acorn with some kind of uh, insignias on it. And then over here, we have some more really pretty insignias. And then on the sheath, we have some really pretty like gold gilding with some designs on it. And going along it, we have more designs as well. Very, very pretty. And then right on the end, we have this. And that's really pretty as well. Now, um, I got in trouble for getting this sword. My husband was pissed off because <laughs> a big box showed up on my front doorstep. And he's like, what's in there? What did you order now? And then I took it out of the box and he said, a sword? What do we need a sword for? And I said, well, in case someone breaks in. And <laughs> he started laughing at me. But he's like, don't we have enough antiques in this house? And I said, he who dies with the most antiques wins. And he said, but you can't take it with you. And he's right. <laughs> but nonetheless, I had to add a sword to my collection. I once had a Knights of Columbus sword from the 1860s. And sadly, I put it on eBay as soon as I got it. I got it from an auction house. And I got it for like 25 bucks. And I sold that one for like $350. And it was gorgeous. And I don't know why I did that like I just guess I <clears throat> wanted to see how much I could get for it and I missed that sword I wish I can get that sword back but I don't think I ever uh, will be able to find one for $25 ever again my goodness it's like there's always when when you're an antique collector and a seller or a dealer you always have things that you ended up selling that you wish you didn't and that was one of them so once again thanks for watching if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys all soon.